I did not think this through. Shit. Alright, hey everyone, and welcome to just... Maybe kind of a one-off, maybe kind of not. Uh, I took one of my late-game characters, emptied out its inventory, and I'm just gonna use them to play Terraria. Chill out, do whatever. Ignore the money trow and the health, please, and uh, anything... I actually don't know what else... Okay, yeah, right, the grapple hook. So, the mechanical cart, a broom, and hook. Okay, cool. I have I have a mount and a grapple hook, plus the aforementioned nonsense. Okay. I'll try not to abuse it too much, since, uh, as I said, I'm supposed to be starting out here. Did I just do no damage to that squirrel? Okay, no, yeah, okay, it's... I was like, I had a, uh, Tome of Creature thing that I had sideways, but I took that off, and it would have surprised me if I could do no harm. Get out of here. There we go. Uh, I don't remember where spawn was. It was, like, right up here, right? Oh, well, who cares? We'll figure that out in a minute. For now, let's go ahead and make the bad choice of spelunking this early into the game. Whoa, oh, okay. And also, actually, I should also mention, uh, this is, again, another place sort of little mini-series thing that has a secondary purpose to it. In this particular case, I tried last week, not this week, but last week, to go over my ideas for my storytelling method. I, I failed spectacularly because, like, summarizing how you philosophize over stories is not something you can just really go over in, like, a single, like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna do it in, like, five minutes, here we go. You have to be really good at speaking in order to be able to do that. Which I am not, as you can clearly see every episode and every day. Oh, it, it sucks, but whatever, okay? So I'm going to use this to try and have a bit of time. Some, like, wait, not place. Some, like, calm, non-stressful, non- Hello, fucking stuff to actually do while I talk about it. And one thing that I believe I tried to get across was that part of my methodology is starting from, I believe I said the end point, but in reality it'd probably more so be the goal or climax would be a better statement of that. And the reason I say that is because in that one example I gave, the one about a... Two, three, four, five, six, seven? Oh, damn! Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right, because fucking heart... God! Get these off my hot bar. Uh... Yeah, I gave the example of, like, that one fallen god or whatever thing, yeah? Well, that's a good example, but that doesn't fully entail how I made the story of that place in my head. And as I kind of was ruminating to myself about how I was going to tell this... Ooh, bitch. I forgot I don't have a melee weapon. Let's go. Uh, I'm just gonna use wood to mark out this spot then. Fuck it. There we go. Okay. Let's, uh... I suppose a mine sh I could probably make that the mine shaft. Yeah. Okay, so we'll make the house about here. Right. Yeah, I, I was ruminating for the, uh few days, like, for the past week-ish, over how I would go over this, and you'll find every now and again videos about storytelling, 
there was one that I watched pretty recently that talked about how world building, the culture of your world, and all that is very important, and only to make as, as much as you need, but that's, I mean, I have nothing but time. I did again! Get, get off my hot bar. Fuck it, we'll <laughs> umbrella for damage. <laughs> umbrella for damage. That is going to not end well in the slightest, I tell you. Uh, he talked about world building and all that, and part of what made... Like, the main thing that made that story... I wasn't even intending to make one. I just ended up world building a place without meaning to do much else. Like, okay, so I want to make a fantasy world where it's not quite as most other fantasy worlds are. Like, you have your uh, freaking divisions between elves, dwarves, humans. You have dwarves being really greedy and into gold. You have elves that are really elegant but long-lived. Say, like, okay, how do, how do I subvert expectations on these? Well, in the case of dwarves, dwarves are not only known for, like, mining, greed, and all that. They're also known for craftsmanship. Okay. And what can I turn their greed into with this basis of craftsmanship? What if I made dwarves philosophers? And it's like, from there, I went on to build... Okay, they are a race that is very hungry on knowledge. They are... It bas basically, if you played Genshin Impact, they're, they're, there's the Sumeru arc, basically. <laughs> like, without, without even meaning or realizing, I ended up making Sumeru. Which is hilarious. But, you get, you get how that works now. I thought up how that works, and then that ended up being it. And what made me make my goal for the story ended up being, okay, this is a fantasy world, so it's gonna have gods, how I do this. Let's have the horoscopes for major deities that interact with people often, and the tarots for minor deities. And for anyone who doesn't recognize that word, because it's spelt slightly different, uh, tarot as in tarot cards. Freaking, like, fortune-telling cards? There you go. Yeah, so it's like, the horoscopes would be deities that ruled among the people. They would be interacting with their daily lives and all that, you know? And the tarots are the sort to just stay on the sideline and observe. They wait, and then they act. How do I want this to go? I have a box. Lovely. Well, let's just build a few things real quick, though. I'm gonna want a basement here. Like, probably just... Yeah. Alright. So, yeah, the tarots. Which do that. I would have them come out and interact with the main protagonist a couple of times, but, like, it would only be, like... Actually, yeah, <laughs> it would only be three of them. This I just came up with on the fly. But three tarots throughout the entire journey. The fool, something in the middle, and then the world. And the three is mostly just because tarot readings come in uh, groups of three. You know? So it would match up the usual tarot aspect. Which I think would be a really cool thing. But also, that is just me. Okay, that's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think about here, maybe? There we go. I don't have a hammer, I just realized. Lovely. Uh, where? Here. I think I'm using the Calamity uh, Texture Pack, which I really like. I love the Calamity Texture Pack. I love the Calamity mod. Uh, but, freaking, some, some of the stuff you just hear in the background makes me like, okay, yep, this is another case of just 
enjoy the product, ignore what's happening. And sticking your head in the sand is not good practice, but sometimes that's all you can really do about some things. And it's not a matter of, oh yeah, I should play fucking the fool and ignorance. And No, it's just more so a matter of, I can't really affect the outcome of a situation, so it's better to let it resolve itself. Oh. I'll probably make a, uh, attic room for store. Yeah, I'll make an attic room for storage. And then it'll have a basement, probably two of these patterns down, into a crafting room. I like that idea. I like that light idea a lot. Okay, that, 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 there we go. That's our uh, starter house. Okay. You've got to be joking me. What is this? The guide's dead. <laughs> what is this? Okay. I guess I'm just storytelling now. <laughs> I'm not I'm not interacting with the fucking blood moon on night one. That is ridiculous. I I literally just made this world. Like I made I uh created the world. Uh made sure that everything in my character's inventory was emptied out. I had to go find a new axe and pickaxe. Uh then came in here to do this. Like I hit record and said hello. Like, I believe as it was, uh, as I was, like, clicked start world. You know? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Alright, then, um, so as I was saying, the tarot's and horoscopes, then it's like, well, hold on. I did read that one article recently, because Google decided to just throw shit at me at the time, and now it's all curated to video game stuff, about... A 13th horoscope. From back during, like, whatever, like, Sumerian times or whatever bullshit. Yeah, no, it's like a 13th one, the, a man and a snake. It's like, okay. So there's a 13th horoscope that's just fallen out of common practice. What if we made that the plot? And from there, it became a matter of having the characters end up exploring the world and at the same time as that though you do want to try and have them go to places with a purpose like i want to have them go to the i want them have i want them to go to the other three locations from the starter area the human the small human like region because humans are relatively fucking frail and weak, and they basically got fucking steamrolled by literally every other race. So they just agreed to have a portion of coastal land, and went with it. Right, how do I get them to go to those other areas? Okay, so... Well, for one, we're going to do the haha -ha funny cliche of, oh yeah, the big bad's on the other side of the continent. Fucking excuse me? Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're going to do that. Fuck. Fine. Uh, okay, so the big bad's on the other side of the continent. We have to go all the way over there. Let's start with trying to pass through the mountains. In Thor and Oakenshield can tell you how well that one went for him. But in this particular case, they would meet the fool, blah blah blah, meet the dwarves. And after they reach the other side of the mountains, because it's not, like, it's a treacherous, climby journey, but it's not, like, bandit-ridden or anything. It's just fucking mountains, man. Chill. Uh, they would come across a desert. Where the fourth kingdom, the fourth and biggest kingdom, taking up like a third to half the continent, and then the basically alliance of men, elves, and dwarves from fucking Lord of the Rings over here are fighting them. Stone, like clay, stone golems versus uh, them. And their numbers are legion. 
okay, that method doesn't work. Double back and then try to the south where there's a break in the mountain where the elves live. If end up having to deal with some fucking elf bullshit like they had to deal with dwarf bullshit whenever they pass through. And for elves, uh, in their case, I decided to say, okay, if they're so long lived, how how uh, much do you think they'll bend to new tradition? And so, because elves are usually associated with forests and such, I decided, okay, let's make them not barbaric, but more tribal. In the older, and I, God, I don't remember how it was, but there was something where they ended up getting corrupted, but I don't remember how I specifically build that now, which sucks, but oh well. Oh shoot, I just realized I wanted to make that one more up. I can fix this while we uh, wait. No, that was perfect. I can't believe the guide's actually still alive. Holy shit. Oop. Yeah, screw it. We'll go ahead and make the double layer roof, I guess. Here. And the reason I like doing this double layer is just so that way I can have a unique floor to ceiling. It's not it's not rocket science. There we go. Light up this floor as well. Okay. Um, right, I wanted to make them more of a like hunting hunting like society. More str more strength over grace. Although the older and more skilled they get, the more graceful they seem, because they're just good, you know? Uh, from there, they go into the Art Kingdom, where the stone golems are, and blah blah blah. They end up getting to the final boss. After unexpected trials and tribulations, I'll call it. Because, I mean, you hear stories about, like, how the elves covet gold and, like, mine deep into the earth, but you wouldn't expect them to be Philosophers having a pint of ale or a glass of wine while talking o while trying to debate over each other for fun. You wouldn't expect elves who are said to be like the oldest, wisest, and can be most graceful race to end up freaking gnawing down on some raw meat. No, like you wouldn't expect any of those if you had our like perceptions. And a lot of that uh, town, that star town, would probably follow most of the usual tropes, as the elves will have been acclimated to other society, and the dwarves are able to... Well, they, they just find everyone else dull and decide, alright, fine, let me at least feed my own wallet. You know? So, where was I? The final encounter... They, so they get to it, they fight the other god who had been trying to basically plan, play out a revenge story, let's be real, that's what all fallen gods do, I'm not subverting expectations on that one, he was kicked out for years, and they, it's like, I don't, I don't even, like, there's no reason to it either, they just didn't want him they just didn't need the 13th member so they just got rid of him i have max right yeah so yeah I, i'd be pretty spiteful if i just got kicked out saying no no we, we 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 don't need you what why hey we survived the blood moon huzzah
Where was I? Right. I need to make doors. Like four doors. One. Menacingly. There we go. More damage. I'll take that. In defense. Since I don't have any armor right now. Uh, this is gonna be hellish to deal with on Blood Moons, but whatever. We got our places. And the guide is still alive. Holy shit. That's Minecraft Steve, so what'd I expect? Where? There. Yeah, that, that ought to do it for, like, start. From there, I can, uh... I do wish there was a... There, there's gotta be better ways to make, like, ways upstairs, right? Hmm. And there's gotta be, but I'm just not clever enough to think of anything other than, like, ropes double backs and freaking not, not not much creative going on up here as far as like that's concerned although freaking Hayden Bear and everyone else freaking who witnesses me do this will tell you like oh man you are you're selling yourself short here I mean maybe I just try my best to make it look good and it's like you look at people like who what Kronos Kronos some one one of the master builders for this game. It's like, dude, I am I'm I'm nowhere near this guy. It's good to think about how you can use certain uh, resources. Also, boreal wood is the best flooring. Prove me fucking wrong. Best wood flooring, I should say. Prove me wrong. Um, where was I? Right. Uh, fucking boreal wood. Uh, building. Yeah, but it's like, compared to freaking him and other, like, much more skilled members of the community, like, this is, this is a box. I think I've tried, um, my hand at a Halloween build using Spooky Wood once, and it came out decently, though it was only with a single type of block. Should I, should I split this into two rooms? I think it's gonna be, like, classified as too big. This housing is already occupied. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, we'll probably toss the guide into the uh, crafting room downstairs. And also, speaking of rooms, it also just occurred to me... I'm going to be having my storage and crafting space completely separated. <laughs> Shit. Whatever. Uh, we can, we, can, we can probably finish off the uh, like division as well. Hold up. Four, five. Oh. <sighs> God, another another torch that I've had to like get rid of because it's too freaking short. Really? insane um all right so i want yeah that'll work there we go and then we'll do that Yeah, yeah, uh, there's probably a better, like, support thing out there. Especially since, like, look at that texture. Uh, I th default's probably got, like, it better off as far as that's concerned, doesn't it? Hmm. Whatever. Uh, we'll make this box real quick. About to here. We could probably do with making a, um... Not... Like a little sort of like outdoor lounge right there, probably. That'd be that'd be a good idea, right?
not not really a poolside thing, but like a nice table and maybe a few other decorations. That'd be cool. I think that would be at least. Hmm. Yeah, get rid of that. Pull this down to there. I need one more door. Um, yeah, you. Probably gonna make the second house, like, close to spawn, like, right here. Since I really need to have these be kind of close, so that way they don't just, like, oh, it's, um, it's not a town. Shop. Big. Forest pylon. Anything else I need? Anvil. Because I don't like, uh, wasting iron on anvils. Yeah, I'm, I'm unfortunately the type of person who will take any opportunity to save resources in these games. And usually, that leads to me suffering. <laughs> Which sucks, but hey, I, I can't help myself. I want to not spend money. Well, not, 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 not spend money, but like, not spend the re... That's too short, yeah. There we go. Okay, but not spend, like, the resources I need to in order to uh, make, say, fucking an anvil as an example. I think this is still too short. Hold up, if I... Yep. <sighs> it's not like I'm doing modded. This whole... The length of this whole room should be fine. And I can probably have this, like, this is the max roof height, and then it's one more down to give it, like, an under thing. For the thatching, yeah, we can we can have it be, like, a thatched roof. Get, uh, the sickle and do hay on top, and then something underneath. I think that'd be good. Yeah. Where, uh, there, there, there it is. That's... I should probably finish up that, actually, now I think about it. That's probably too many platforms, isn't it? That's perfect, actually. That was 18 plus 6. Now I'm left with... Yeah, yeah, that's good. Sweet, I like that. I love it when a plan comes together. And, yeah, we'll just start out with these. Wait, where's... It's at the bomb. Right, uh, the only other example of storytelling I have is this, uh, like, dumb story I made. Wherein which is about a, like, the head, not headmaster, but, like, the leader of a traveling performance troupe. They're good, but they don't, they're missing something, something special. In the particular case of the story, like a genuine sense of the situation they are trying to act out. But nonetheless, the stories are good, engaging, and it's just a matter of finding that source. So the head, the leader of that troop, every night would pray. And one night his prayers would be answered as he is basically brought before the very god he worshipped. And told, all right, I'll, I like your place. You do me a good service, so I'll help you. You won't have this same uh, reward twice, unfortunately. All right. He agrees. They put on a performance. And with that, the troop realizes just how to do what they need to. Th in this particular case, the storytelling method is less about... Which way should I expand it? I feel like I should go this way. Get it, like, a little bit further away from the house. Uh, in this particular case, the storytelling method is less about, like, oh yeah, what's the end goal? And more about that climactic point of, like, that climactic world-changing point of meeting his god. His date, like, the patron deity of, uh, performances, you know? There's my dirt. And 
and another thing is that story isn't meant to be, uh, like, some profound, it's not meant to, like, be some awe-inspiring thing, it's mostly just meant to be a dumb, fun tale I made up. Unlike, uh, the other one, which ended up becoming something big in my eyes. Like, not big among everyone else, but just, like, this could be something, um, this could be, like, I don't want to say a per Percy Jaskin, Percy Jaskin, Percy Jackson-ish, a uh, like, type tale, as far as that sort of popularity is concerned, but it's like, it's a fancy, it's a fancy with a, my own spin on how I think it should, uh, be taken. Yeah, we'll go ahead and cut down that, do that, get rid of the grass, though it's just gonna grow down again anyways. Alright. It's like, it's a matter of figuring out what sort of climactic point or twist or whatever it is that you're going for, and then solving the problem backwards from there. Let's say, I want to make a V-Rising story, since uh, I just recently got Bear and Hayden, mostly Bear, in on that. Like, seriously, we're, um, we're nearly towards the end of Act 2, where everything is new to me, and I have no clue what I'm doing. Like, freaking Gloomrod, it's all cool, but like, holy shit, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, alright, I want to make a V-Rising thing. It's all vampires, and it has very big, uh, nods off to Dracula, because that's, like, the progenitor of all the bleep, the bleevud. Yes, I can, I can English, as you can see, this is why I'm doing this. Uh, okay, so we want to make it, so let's say there are two factions. And this is a survival multiplayer type deal, okay? You know, where everything is staged and talked about in advance, but it's somewhat ad-libbed between the uh, people playing on the server. I think that'll be deep enough for now. Hold up. We'll do that. There we go. Yeah, so it would be a it would be a faction of like the someone claiming to be like his heir, his like the next one to be claim his throne, and those courtiers, and then just the wild bunch, the vampires that don't conform to his law, and all that, and from there it would be sort of a back not a back and forth since mostly they'd be doing their own things with minor skirmishes every now and again but two storylines to follow all leading up to the point of oh yeah don't mind any of this i was working on zenith and uh the ink shield ankh shield uh what was i doing again with that i don't know but yeah it'd be mostly just them doing their thing leading up to probably Act 3. Act 3 would be where everything sort of reached its explosive climax with all cards on the table. Something happened and the, like, court of Dracula's heir would be in grave, not grave trouble, but they would have done something to basically make war be the next possibility. And yeah, that's kind of my idea with it, you know? Like, it's, you start at how do you, what, what's like the good idea you can bring from it, and how can you flesh it out from there? As I said, the climactic point, which in the case of those first two stories is very much so true, but in the case of this last one, it's mostly just workshopping since survival multiplayers aren't just you. In that case, you're working with a bunch of other writers, so you're gonna want some wiggle room. If you have a general idea of how it should go, then, well, that's good enough, because anything can happen. It's it's ad-libbed performance. Anyways, it's been like 30 minutes. 
I am so sorry for taking up all of y'all's time. Uh, I'll boot up Terraria again if I feel like talking about something else. And I'll see you guys again next time, alright? Take care. Also, I really need to stop playing with this necklace that I have. This freaking dog tag that I have just sitting on my desk. It, it comes through on the mic very easily. That's, that's like the clinking and like freaking rattle that you hear every now and again. I'm so sorry.